And in more recent news, Japan has been hit by a trifecta of disasters, starting with an earthquake, which caused a tsunami, which damaged their nuclear reactors, causing a, uh, a radioactive leak, or at least that's what they want us to believe. Now, I have it on good authority that the Japanese have actually been developing giant radioactive lizard technology for the past 10 years, and this uh, so-called accident was a, a test run of their Godzilla technology. That's right, the Japanese have been trying to breed their own Godzilla to use as an offensive weapon against other countries. In fact, they've been using some of the same giant lizard technology that I've used to create Oswald, the giant iguana protector of our laboratory. Luckily, certain members of the U.S. Defense Department has known about Japan's Godzilla technology and have been developing our own Mothra technology to counteract the, uh, Japan's first strike capabilities. And here to tell us more are the very tiny but very beautiful twin fairies from Peace Island who are heading the Mothra program. Good evening, girls. Good evening, everyone. Well, thank you for joining us, and I hear you've made some terrific advancements in giant moth technology. Thank you. Would you like to see him? Well, yes, we'd love to see Mothra. All right, we'll sing his song for you. And maybe, if you close your eyes and can think about him, you'll see Mothra. All right, everybody, close your eyes and concentrate on the beautiful song of Mothra. Uh, sorry folks, but it, it seems that uh, our giant iguana has just eaten the twin fairies from Mothra Island, and uh, I guess their song must have provoked him somehow. Uh, bad iguana. Naughty, naughty giant lizard. <laughs> <laughs> 